there you go. I've finished it. That's my painting of Mini Moo. I didn't do too bad a job, did I? Little Mini Moo. Beak might be a little bit long. It's too late to do anything about it now. <laughs> what do you think, Mini? Get out of that. Do not eat fire lighters. That is not, not good at all. What do you think, Mini Moo? Hey? Funny little girl. Why would those previous so-called... Look at Mr. Peppy's some old corn. That Jackson and I have pulled out today. Ah, oh, she's got it. She's eating that bit she's got. <laughs> Who's that, Lammy? Oh, and baby Pee Pee. And the Lammy. Oh, that's little Beaky. My little Beaky, who'll always live here with me because she's stunted. Because I think I've told you about her before. If you notice the top of her beak, she de nearly decapitated herself on a fence. The whole top beak is missing. So she's pretty tame and she gets fed a lot more than the others because she can't eat food like the others do. What's that, Beaky Boo? Little Beaky, she's so cute. She's a cute oh, little pig. He would have walked straight under the fence because it's not working anyway. <laughs> you like that peps, don't you? Hey. What's wrong, Beaky? Have you lost all the others? They're over there. You're not sure what's going on. Where are they? Guess the way. Fly over, little girl. Precious little one. I didn't think Beaky was going to live. She flew, got a fright at night and flew at the wire, the chicken wire, and that caught her on the top beak and literally just sliced the top beak off. It was horrible. I had her in the house for about a month Maybe. to make sure she'd live. You're going to eat the corn too? Happy Piggy. <laughs> She's a very sweet mannered pig. She's very sensitive. I never forget the time there was two orphan lambs. Her mother got up and walked off from them, and Pepper found one and was laying down on the ground trying to feed them. I'll see if I can find photos of it. I'm pretty sure I've still got them, um, and I'll put them in here. But, uh, she's a she's a sweet little pig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you approach her from the head and give her scratches and then you go down to her side and onto her belly because she, she probably doesn't know who you are. Because you're grown up now. He's 12 and 5 foot 8 tall now. Okay. Kids on school holidays doing stuff they shouldn't be doing with no work boots on. No work boots on. Oi. You're doing that basically barefooted. Yeah, and it's fun. No, it's not. Yes, it is. If I've got to take you to hospital, go put your work boots on. Come on. Don't give me come on. I'm your grandmother. Do as you're told. Isn't that right, turkeys? Isn't that right, lammy? Isn't that right, Mr. Lincoln? Um, I'll use this one either. You're going to use that one, are you? Good well, job, buddy. It's a whittle one. A whittle one? Yeah. All the whittle ones you got me earlier, I put on the fire to get the, f the inside fire going. Okay, I'll go get the, the whittle one. Well, there's a whittle one attached to this. There's a whittle one. That'll break with that. It will. I want to chop it. I want to chop it, 
Take her away. Now I want to chop it. Just let him chop that little branch there. Mm -hmm. That tiny branch. No. <laughs> you gotta, you got to hit the actual branch, kiddo. Yeah, right there. That's the way. Hey, see? Now give it back to Logan. And now here's the biggest one. I'll move you away. <laughs> Wait, no, I'd move out the way if I was you, Lincoln, because he's like in danger man. <laughs> What's he doing, Maggie? What's he doing, Cocky? You need the widow one? Yeah. The widow one. Because this one's too heavy. And put it down. No, I want to. I want to use the widow one. The widow one? Yeah, I want to use it. No. Wait. Get away. Go on. Link, hop out the way, please. Okay. Yay! Oh. That's his workout for the day, everyone. Watch out, Mom. Mom, please move back. Oh, okay. All right, we put all that away now, guys, because we're coming in to have lunch.